In the previous lesson, we saw how we can use Unreal Engine together with Twinmotion, how we can export, import, and we made an example with uh, a table. And we saw how we can um, export or import objects, which are also called geometries and uh, materials. So uh, it's really important to understand the import part because we need to know whether we want uh, an object which is composed by many elements or we want um, something, uh, one single object. So all the, the single parts of the objects all together, uh, merged together in one, or if we want different elements. So we did a lot of the types of um, importing and we choose different formats. We picked some objects from the libraries of Twinmotion. We have a lot of objects in there, especially in the Sketchfab section or Megascan. And um, we did some examples. We also saw the preferences and how we can set up the settings for the, the software, for the quality, and for the appearance. So we covered all these parts and we saw really important um, information, especially uh, also the, the shortcut keys, which are really important. Now we're going to see also how we can merge. So not only import from external sources, which we already did in the other lessons, but we will also see how we can merge different twin motion files together. So how we can assembly a scene. Now, uh, we, we're also going to talk about containers and how to create groups. Now, first of all, I'm going to save these because I want to start to delete something. I want to simplify this scene and then I want to take this part of this scene and bring it into another twin motion scene using the samples. And in the settings, I quickly want to set up the auto saving. I think this is one of the most important setting in the general settings of the software because uh, if you, for any reason the, the software crashes or your computer breaks down or whatever, at least you have saved, you will have saved uh, most of the work. So depending on the interval that you set. So always use the autosave feature. Now I'm going to start to delete stuff here and I'm going to do again more examples uh, about the, the scene panel. We already covered the toolbar on the top there. We saw all these different tools and uh, different uh, shortcut keys that we can use. And um, we also talked about this uh, view panel, so how we can manage the viewport, the visualization inside. We talk about some extra tools like the, the cube, the section cube. So, uh, well, I'm just gonna start to delete stuff. And then I'm gonna show you how you can also manage using groups or containers and you can see here, this, uh, this was imported in, uh, from SketchUp and it has a lot of different uh, columns in there, a car, but everything is collapsed by elements. So you can collapse by single elements, single geometry, or you can maintain the hierarchy, or you can collapse by material. Now, when you collapse everything like this, it's really difficult to delete everything. But when we use a container, which is essentially a folder, this is gonna be faster. So this is why it's important to be organized and manage your scene using containers, sub-containers, and so on. So instead of deleting one by one, I can reach the top of this, of this hierarchy here, which is made of folders and subfolders. So you can see here that if you delete the folder directly, it's gonna be quicker, but if you manage to go all the way to the top, to the, to the top folder, which is this one here. So this folder here contains everything that was imported from SketchUp. So when you do import and collapse all, everything will be stored into hierarchies. Or also if you keep hierarchies, that's going to save the hierarchy that you use in the other software. Now this one here was imported from a 3DS file, so from 3DS Max. And also here we have different elements, so I can select the tree, delete the tree, and I can select the single elements. Now we never collapse by material, which, which is also really useful and handy because when you collapse by material, you can modify one material on one object and uh, every part of that scene containing the, the same material will be updated as well. So there are different choices when you import and um, I'm gonna try to, to explain also later in, in other 
um, videos. So I continue to delete here. Now you can see we have here the when we right click or we click on the three dots, we have extra stuff. I want to show you how you can do with this extra stuff. So you can also copy and paste. Now we will see how we can create arrays, but the, the essential copy is right there. So right click and you can either copy and paste by creating um, an individual and um, independent copy or you can create an instance. Now you see that when you do paste here, it's gonna paste the object inside the position in the hierarchy in the scene graph, in the scene panel. So it's important to understand where you wanna bring that copy. So if you do copy, and you can also um, add to user library. We saw how we can do that. We saw zoom to selection, isolate. We saw a lot of stuff here already, replace object, but uh, we're gonna see more. And you can unlink. If you unlink, you're gonna take that object outside the folder so it's kind of getting that outside a hierarchy so it's going to be like free to move more free to move otherwise the hierarchy works with what is called a father children relationship so if you affect the father which is which could be an empty container you can affect the children not the other way so if you move the, the children you cannot move the folder uh, or the what's uh, above. So you have a hierarchy here. The, the top level is the scene graph, which is basically the, 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 the panel that you see here. So you can also click and drag things and move them inside. So things meaning uh, geometries mainly, like geometries like meshes or people or objects that you brought into the scene. So you can click, drag, you can right click. You can also create a new container and quickly bring that object that you selected in the new container and you can quickly rename it. So now if I change, for example, something about that container, it's going to affect the children, which is the armchair inside the container. So I know this is basic stuff for, for many of you, but, uh, you know, we're keeping it as simple, then we're going to see more complex things later. So um, you can move here the container and it's going to get the children inside together. Now, if you move the pivot, you're only going to affect the pivot. So when you affect the pivot, you can change the position of the pivot of the container, but not of the object. So you can work with more pivots, more um, different types of transforming references. So if I bring it, for example, if I have a table and want to rotate this chair around a table, you can set the people to the middle of the table and then rotate the, the chair around. So this is why another reason you can use folder or empty container for is to handle different types of um, gizmos and pivots. Now uh, let's move on because we have a lot of things to cover. We're going to see how we can create, create polar arrays and linear arrays later. So if I unlink now, uh, that one will not be the father of that other object anymore. So you can click and drag, unlink anytime, bring it in, bring it out. And it's really easy to use all these features in uh, Twinmotion. So right here, you can see everything is inside that container. So if I go here and do collapse, this is when you want to quickly uh, close the folder so you can you can open so if you click an object it's going to open the folder it's going to show you where that is it's going to be in the scene graph and it's going to expand everything so if you want to close it because it's taking a lot of space so if you want to close it quickly of course you can use the little arrow in there but also right click and you can do the collapse so collapse means uh, getting everything into one place uh, if we want to make it really simple so you can see how many things are in here when you import a complex scene. You have a lot of folders, subfolders, but that's going to help you to manage complex stuff. Now, if I go here and do select children, it's going to select everything in there. 